And we're back. We're back. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back yeah. again. We are back. You don't even like me, do you? Is back. I've <laughs> done that better, couldn't I? <laughs> hey, wiki, 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 I've got Dido in my boot. Who? Dido in my boot. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it's tenuous. It's, it's, uh, I bleach my hair. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, Dido. That's not the Eminem that people remember. <laughs> but that's not saying you're back, is it? It's it's not. It's Dido in the boot. Dido in the boot. Dido in the boot. How could he put Dido in the boot? Where it Dido? Yeah. Do you not remember? No, it's it's, yeah. not, it's an old reference. It's just not that old. People know it anyway, won't they? Anyways. Anywhere. Let's uh, start We're with it as we mean to go on. I can't see it. Can I borrow your phone? No, let's put your light oh, on. Oh, he's got a little dimple in. What's the dimple for? Put your light on. Oh, I've got a light. Got a light now. It says, it's called... Maso Antico Primitivo. And it's in the end, you know. It? And it's got... This one isn't a 4.2, like the last one. Last series callback. This one is 99 punto. So it's got 99 points. It could be out of... No, it's out of problems, but the wine ain't one. It, in, it says... Oh, I can't read that. Do of legmente opposite. I don't know what that means. It says... Oh, it's all in foreign. Oh, no, it's English bits. Uh, with its intense red colour and its complex bouquet... This wine is characterised by fine aromas that go from mature fruit to spicy notes. Served between 16 degrees and 18. It's fucking freezing in this studio. Studio. Even he, he, he could sing that normally in here and he'd still stutter. Yes. Wouldn't he? Studio. That was Phil oh, no, Collins. Collins. Yeah. Um, uh, it pairs perfectly with grilled meat dishes, stew, and mature cheeses. I could just have a grilled meat now. I could have a cheese. Uh, it's product of Italy. And it's the percentage. Would you like to guess the percentage? You've long time. Well, no, they're you? either 13 or 13.5. I'll go 13.7. Oh, well. 14. Was it 14? It's 14 because it was expensive. How come when I bring a bottle of wine, you read the blurb and go, bullshit. It is. Someone's paid This to wasn't this. from Aldi. This you, you buy a bottle of wine. It's got and an you embossed. Read it. Look at that. It's got an embossed thing, though. It's not that. You it's... do you buy a bottle of wine and you go, oh, mm. it's it's got this and this and this. It must be true. It, it, look, it's telling me. It it is true. Um, well, it's got ninety nine points. What's that picture of? Is it a tree? What it's a tree in it? Is it a tree? Yeah, yeah, it's true. But it's embossed glass, not like cheap or shite that you get from Aldi. Although we will be sponsored by Aldi if they want us to. It's it's all right. It's all it's over a six out of ten. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I quite like it anyway. So that. There we go. Happy days. Know, I think I might give yourself a bit more than you. If you don't mind, you're drinking faster. I'm not. You are. I'm not. You are. I'm not. Need it with you. You are lower down. <laughs> Captain Nida, more wine. Listen, can I just um, yep. interject? Yep. And spare a thought for oh, Voice of James Darth L. Jones. Vader, He's who died, died um, recently. But he's, you know what? I'm up for doing the Star Wars films. So are you doing... <laughs> George Lucas. I'm here. Yeah. So when when you do his voice... Give me a call. When, when Captain you... Nidar is my personal assistant. <laughs> so you still feel comfortable doing his voice? Yeah. Hey. He lives on, doesn't he? He does, because he sold his voice to Disney. <laughs> Those bastards nick my voice. So they don't, they don't need you because apparently before I've he, been digitized. Before he died, he sold his voice uh, and likeness to Disney, so they can and his make, likeness. Well, the voice likeness. Oh right. So uh, I don't know. It must. He don't look like that. It must be a lot of money. 
But basically, I so know, but it's not spent. They can uh, well, it being his estate, wasn't it? But basically, they can use. The, oh, he's he's pre recorded. Captain Nida, are those gold plated pants you're wearing? I don't think he's pre-recorded that. No. But he's pre-recorded a lot of statements. Pre-recorded? Pre-recorded. Pre-recorded? Yeah. He pre-recorded a lot of statements. Yeah. And they can digitise his voice now and say what he wants to say because he's signed the thing. Did you know, right, that you don't know this, you might know this, but uh, you know celebs, right? Yeah. What's a deleb? Is it... Uh... A celeb that you, a, a male celeb that women want to, an older male celeb that women want to. No, no, no. A dileb yeah. is a dead celeb, right? Oh. And you know, there's an agency in America that deals in dilebs. Deals in dilebs. You know, like so they've got like uh, all these dead celebrities on the books because yeah. some still make loads of money after they die. I mean, apparently Elvis makes. Yeah. <laughs> I think he makes fifty million a year still. Elvis. Mercy, right? Yeah. But what they do is they approach people, famous people who are quite old, yeah, and 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 offer them money for the rights to their uh, work mm-hmm. estate, and they're like, you like, you like um, when you see an advert, it's got like Marilyn Monroe in it or something like that. Who? Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Ma- it's forty percent wine. Just just to clarify, Marilyn Monroe is Marilyn Monroe. Shut up, negative. Anyway. Yeah. But you Marilyn like, Lynn Monroe. You know, like that, that Gallus advert with Audrey Hepburn, isn't it? Yeah. You know, but obviously... Oh, so she might not, she, she might she might not, not like chocolate. But but basically, now they approach these celebrities like they might be approaching... Anybody who's like on the verge of... Yeah, I won't say a name because by the time it goes out, they might be... Dead. Dilebs. But yeah. they approach them and say, look, you know, can, can we have your likeness? I will pay you a wedge of money. But once you've gone, then we can... You can be advertising condoms, shampoo, anything we want to do. Uh, unless you say, I'll do anything, but I won't condoms. do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I don't want to be advertising diarrhea tablets or something like that. No. Um, but, but yeah, so the, there's the names in America, mm. and they deal with dilebs. Yeah. yeah. So James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones? Yeah, James Earl. Yeah, James Earl Jones. There you go. Uh, he's, yeah. uh, he's a dileb now. Oh. Yeah. So go on, fire away, do his voice now. <laughs> yeah, no qualms. No qualms. Baggy top, Captain Nida. Baggy top. Use a condom. Baggy top. Baggy top. Oh, baggy top. <laughs> baggy top. No, not bag. <laughs> this Disney voice recreation shit is terrible. I don't even sound like myself. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, yeah. you've been on your hollies. I've, I've been, been on, on my jollies. I've been on mine. Yeah. Uh, and we're back. But who had the better holiday? That's it. Well, no, we won't say that. But, well, well it's, it's subjective, isn't it's it? It's subjective. Yeah. But I like Crete and you liked Lake Garda again. Uh, yeah, Lake Garda was all right. Uh, all right means brilliant. Yeah. It was all right. He did a can- he canoed. Uh, yeah, okay, I sailed. He canoed. I had a boat. He, no, he got canoed. Yeah, okay. I got a boat okay. and, and sailed on the lake. Yeah. Um, did you go in and see? No, I, I thought about it. Oh, you think about it and then you, but, then you thought about it. No, I was going to do it on last morning, but mm. um, I didn't want, I didn't want wet up. trunks. Yeah. Well, I could have worn my trunks. I did say this. Excuse me. Because I could have worn my trunks and they had dried because it was 37 degrees. Ah, sure. I could have literally just got out of the water and they went <laughs> vaporised. Yeah, well, where I went, it was it was it was wet. It was wet. Some days, it was and it wet. wasn't just wet in the sea; it was wet outside the it sea. Was, it rained. Well, it weren't the sea; it's the it rained. Lake. It yeah. rained, and then one morning, I think there was a bit of snow on the mountain top. Were there? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But no snow there. But hey, listen, a good time was had, and uh, refreshed. Are you back? Yeah. Looking forward to my next break. Mm, uh, mine's next week. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, don't, don't rub it. In. I don't know. But uh, I like Crete. Crete were good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Good driving. Had a panda. Yeah. yeah. Sent that back with a, a problem. I don't like a whining thing on it. But I gave it back. Which is... Yeah, part of the course, really, with air cars that we get. But, did, uh, you, did you put your memory stick in and play your music? No, I didn't have any music on at all while we were driving. Yeah. No, just enjoyed it. 
Mm. Excellente. And besides it, we're all in uh, Greek, so I couldn't understand it. Ah, oh, right, mm. yeah, yeah. It yeah. didn't have a... Well, I couldn't put the USB stick in because I've got the USB for the sat nav in. Mm. Yeah. I could have used the cigarette adapter, but it were a bit iffy because mm -hmm. I tried charging my phone up, but it kept popping out. It's oh, a fear, right. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I like a good, honest little car. You know, just, just chuck it about a bit. And then, mm. and then you're back to work for a day, and it's like, mm. you're, you're so many Never been aware. You're so many pounds out of pocket and a few photographs. Yeah. Memory. Well, I say a few photographs. Uh, a few photographs from me, what, about like 14 million for you? Oh, I'm just more photogenic. <laughs> well, if you think, guess which one's which on the, the awful picture that's on our... Yeah. What? Uh, you don't even like me, do you? What? I, what? I, I mean, I mean, photo. Yeah, it's not a good picture of me, though. I've lost weight since then. I have lost weight since then. Uh, hey, I've got all my holiday weight off now. I didn't, I lost, I didn't know you had holiday weight. Mm, I put a bit on, a bit of timber. Mm -hmm. So I, I put on eight pound, and I lost eight pounds since Thursday. So, did you have uh, anything, any, any, any traditional cr cr uh, Greek food? Loads. What did you I have? Did. I had. I can't remember now. You had gyros, was it gyros? Gyros. Oh, I love a gyros. And you had. Uh... I had two of them. I had one on. Uh, we, we came back on Tuesday, and I had one on Monday in Malia. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. And I had another one on Tuesday in a hilltop. A uh, little. Ooh, a little. Ooh. Mm. A little like uh, bar, and, it were. and you got a Stefano, didn't you? Who's that? I did get the old Stefano oh, while over there. <laughs> no, I, he's being rude. I had a beef Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice too. Oh, that's it, really. Yeah, yeah. as beef Stefanos go. Yeah, yeah the, Greeks, the Greeks do a good Stefano. They do, they? don't they? They started it. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you have anything else? Did you have any Greek salad or? Yeah, I always had. I had. I always had a salad to start off for my main meal. Mm -hmm. So I'd have a bit of feta and a bit of tomato and mm -hmm. that kind. They had these little pickles because I, I squirted myself and my mum twice. In your eye. Yeah. <laughs> they were proper little green things, like little pickles. I don't know they're jalapenos or what, but gherkins are. I don't know. They weren't gherkins. They were little pickles because they were a bit. They had a bit of a, bit of a, mm, with it. Mm -hmm. But I put me fork in and went <laughs> and squirted me all, and I went <laughs> and squirted me as well. Right. I had to be careful. Was that after you stiff out up? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I just had a uh, I just had to tell you Italian food. I mean, yeah, we're mourning about that. Well, it, 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 because it, I love Italian. He didn't have a fishy pizza. Uh, you, how can you go to Lake Garda and not have a fishy pizza? He should have had an anchovy and caper pizza. I think it's a Roma. It's a Roma pizza. And um, he should have had one. Well, because you once know, you've had one, once you've had that salty, fishy goodness, there's no going back. No, actually, I, I like Italy. I like Italian people. I don't like Italy. I just, I love Italy. I just think the food in Italy is a bit... Samey, samey. No, it's not. It I mean, is. It's like samey, samey. I mean, you know, they, they, you know, they, they go for the tourists. You walk past the restaurant, it's like, come eat in my restaurant. Pizza, pasta, lasagna. Was it a Turkish kebab shop? No, no, an Italian. Oh. Uh, can you do an Italian impersonation now? I, you may not have been Italian. Come and do my, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Transylvania. Was. Come and do my restaurant. Come and do my restaurant. Uh, uh, but it's baby. like, uh, it's like, Pizza, pasta, lasagna, oh, bolognese. I love all. And you're thinking to yourself, yeah. is that all you got? Is that what you think we want? Because I can have that It is like a pizza, but not cooked, and it's still got to make it. Sketta. On. It's not shit, it's sketta. Oh, oh God, see. It's all been to me. Here we go. I've yeah. been to Italy more than you. Oh, uh, you want to learn the lingo, don't you? So, anyway, mm. all these done. Yeah. Out of the way. I've got Crease again. Would you? Yeah. So, I like to sit with God. But you've done it now, haven't you? So I can go somewhere else. Yeah, but I'd still go again. No, because if you like somewhere, you go again. No, do something different. Oh, God. Well, you've been like Garda before. Different part of Lake Garda. Yeah, it's still Lake Garda. No, it's not different part of Lake Garda. It's, it's like, going to, it's like going to the Mediterranean. 
the Mediterranean. So I go, yeah, Mediterranean? Yeah. So I go to Mediterranean, like Spain, and then going to the Mediterranean. Go like to, Spain? Like Spain. Yeah. And then going to another part of the Mediterranean, and then going... You've been, you've been to the same place. I haven't. It's, it's two parts of the Mediterranean. It's a lake. It's two it's parts a of the lake. It's a big it's a lake. lake. It's a big lake. You know, if you tell people where you're going, you say Lake Garda. No, Italy. You said Italy? Yeah. And no, someone says, where? I said, Weaver. And I they said, said, where's that? No, I said, Lake Garda. I said, Italy. No, I said, I've been before to Italy. Mm. I went to a place called Garda. Where's in North, that? In North Italy. Where's that? North Italy. No, where's Garda, though? In North Italy. Is it Lake Garda? Uh, there's a lake there called Lake Garda, yeah. Oh, right. Is it at the side of Lake Garda? It's on Lake Garda, yeah. Oh, right. Where's Riva? It's, uh... On Lake Garda. Trento. It's on Lake Garda. It's the Trento oh, area. It's so difficult, isn't it? Yeah, but all I'm saying is just because it, just it's on the coast of the same bit body of water doesn't mean nothing. All right, OK. Because it's... What is it, an hour's drive away? It's still Lake Garda, though, isn't it? You can still see Lake Garda. Yeah, but it's like saying I went to Mar went to Marbella and I went to Torremolinas. Mm -mm. I was drive away. Right. Same body of water. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. Well, you see, there you go, you see. No. Ignoramus. You just, you know, I like you have that. You just, you just, yeah. If you've not been to the same place again, that's fine. But he has, he's been to the same place again. I haven't been to the same place again. He's been to the same place again. It's, look, Garda is quite flat. Mm. Riva mm. is mountainous. It's not mountainous, it's hilly. It's mountainous. It's not mountainous. How can you say Riva's mountainous? Mountainous. It's not. It's a, it's a little town at the side of the lake. It's not it's mountainous. Not, it's mountainous. It's, not. it's on the border of uh, the Dolomites, pretty much. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, they are mountains. And Monte Baldo. That's Malchesney. Yeah, but it's a mountain. Yeah, but it's Malchesney, that. It's just mountains away. Anyways. And that's still Lake Garda. It, 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 the semantics. Anyways. Um, so all day's done. Yeah. And all that kind of thing. What else have you been up to, Mr. Riley, that people might want to listen to? I don't know, really. I've not been up it's to like, much. It's like, it's like season one. No, I've not it. been up to It's just day, day, day to day stuff. I've been working. I've been working and I, oh. I've been doing errands and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's about it, really. Japan, I'm going to Japan. No. I'm going to yes. Japan next year. Mm. Saving up for that. Mm. It's expensive. I've start learning the language. I've no chance. I've, I've, I've had, like, I've got CDs and books for learning no, get, Italian. Get Duolingo on your phone. Duolingo? Yeah. One lingo is all you need. Dua. Get Duolingo on your phone. Can I have Duolipo on my phone? I've got Duolipo on my phone. Yeah, we'll get Duolingo on your phone and you can learn Japanese. Uh, and it gives you a little exercise every day. I know you don't like homework, but, you know, the basics... Oh, I've had enough of it off you. Yeah, the basics. Honichiwa. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a chance of learning Japanese. I might learn hello and goodbye and... Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. But that's and, about and, it. And a beer, please. Oh, yeah. Sake, por favor. Yeah. In, but, in Japanese. But get Duolingo and you'll, you'll get the Duolingo. Few key, get a few Is that key. what it's called? Yeah, pick a language. Any language teaches you. Does Look, it? Yeah, it's fun. Is it on phone? Yeah. You have to pay for it? No. Look, it's, right. it's, it's in app purchases, but oh, you don't need them. God. You don't need them. You, could, right. be, you could be fluent. It's bad enough when I'm trying to listen to music and I get an advert coming up. It could be fluent before you know it. Mm. Mm. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be well impressed if you learn the language properly. Japanese? Any language, but yeah, Japanese would be well impressed. I can I speak French. No, you don't. I do? No, you I don't. I don't just like no, the music no, no, instead. No, you don't. I speak French. You don't speak French. Je ne comprends pas, je suis en anglais. Yeah, that's basically saying I don't speak Continue French. Continue à tout what? Tourner à gauche. That's like, that's like, that's like kid stuff. I think guess me about as long as I'm going around in a circle. I'm busy going right. Yeah, as long as I'm going right in a circle, it's fine. <laughs> All right, go straight ahead. Continue to do what? Allez, tu dois. Continue to do what? I continue. Oh, it's French, that. Is it? Yeah. All right, okay, if you say so. Yeah, I'm, I'm hey. cleverer than you think. Go on, get on with it. What now? Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I went to pictures last week. Oh, 
What did you say? It wasn't Alien Romulus. Again. <laughs> it wasn't Alien. I can't even say it. Alien. Alien. It wasn't Alien Romulus. This is 14% white. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. What did you go and say? I went seeing Speak No Evil. I know. You're thinking, what's that this kind of film? No, I don't know what that is. Speak No Evil? Speak No Evil. Has it got Gene Wilder in it? No. Because he was, he was a woman? No, he, he's dead. He's, it got... he's dead as well. It, it, who's dead? It's, it's, what's it about? Speak No Evil? It's a, it's a remake of a Danish film, right? Oh, fucking hell. So what does that mean? The Danish What does that mean? What does that mean? What's it about? Basically, hey, I tell you what, right? You'd like this place. Oh, yeah. What? It starts off in it's like it's, it's supposed to be set in Italy, right? But it's a Danish film. Yeah, it's set yeah. in Italy, right? At the start, and they're on the Where? Whole, they're on the whole, it doesn't matter right now. Is it Lake Garda? Because that's the third fucking time you've been then. No, 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 it's not Lake Garda. He's been in the film world. He's been in. He's been in real life and in celluloid. Yeah. Anyway, so they're on hold. This couple, right? In um, in in Italy, allegedly, right? Mm-hmm. It's not Italy, but it's supposed to be Italy. And if, uh... Is it like the blacklist? Where they said that they were in, like, no. France? And and the, all they've done is put a French number plate on the American No, plan. no, no, no. It looks like it's beautiful, no. the place. So I Googled it. Uh, and where were it? Croatia. Oh. Hmm? Oh, well, I want to go to Croatia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they meet this, they got this kid, they meet this couple uh, who've got a kid as well. Where are they saying it's France, though? Oh, Italy. What? Why are they saying it's Italy when it's in Croatia? That's what they do, don't they? It's yeah, a, but just to go film it in Italy. Surely it's it's no more expensive to go to Italy than it is Where? to Italy than it is to go to Croatia and pretend that it's Italy. You just go to Italy, won't you? I don't know. I oh. thought I thought it was Italy. This I film's thought, annoying me already. I thought I'm gonna go there. It was really nice. What anyway, part of Italy is this? Croatia. Croatia, Italy. Uh, anyway, they meet this other couple and they get really good friends with them and they go back to England and they say, uh, "Why don't you come and see us on our farm?" Uh, mm. Oh, this sounds dodgy. Yeah, and then shit goes, <laughs> down. Shit goes down. Shit goes down. Oh, shit goes down. You know what I said? Uh, I know what that is. Yeah, you know. You know if you said. listen to that back, it sounds like no. shit goes down. Uh, but uh, but yeah, and it, they go they go to the farm, and then things start to turn for the worst. It it's all right. Mm. It's all right. What made you want to go and see this? Um, because someone wanted to go and see it. All <laughs> oh, right. So being dutiful, uh, partner, I went, yeah, right. okay. but I like going to cinema anyway. Is so. Romulus not on anymore? Uh, it's not on her list. No. It's on DVD on 13th of December anyway, or oh, 3rd. I can't say specifically, but round about that time, but if you want to buy it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, but it, it was all right. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I'd, I'd say I'd recommend going, I'd recommend seeing it mm. on telly. You'd re- what, like go around somebody's house or just peering through somebody's window? No, basically, it's not a film you go to cinema. You know, it's not a like, uh, big screen. Who were in it? Anybody we know? Yeah. Names, names, names. Only one name. Oh. McAvoy. James McAvoy? Yeah, he's really good at it. Fucking hell. Really good. In fact, the review said, it's an okay he film, was. but he's brilliant. Oh. That's what he said. And he was, he was really good. I quite like James McAvoy, he's alright. Mm. Well, someone likes James McAvoy, don't they? Who? Well, well, people that did that film, probably. No, that's why I went. Oh, right. Because someone I, I liked watched him, back No, I watched him doing, you know, the, the snack-off. can't remember what it's on. It's a lab Bible or something like that. It comes up on, on YouTube. But they have, like, they, were, they did, like, Scottish snacks and, like, uh, British snacks or something like that, or American snacks. And so they had, like, Iron Brew and then something else. And he's like, Oh, it's a sister, you like Iron Brew? Because he went like a bit proper Scottish. No, oh, he is proper Scottish. Yeah, I know he is proper Scottish. But, um, and he did like, oh, is that Agus Neeps and Tarties? And it went with that and the black pudding. Agus and the black pudding. Yeah, pick which one. This is a light both. But, uh, yeah. So, you, Jen, back of our, uh thing. Look at that. Yeah, just Scottish. It's like we scripted it. And it's, no, he did not send this. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Mm. So I did that. Um... As you know, got some uh, got some new spectacles. Yeah, I went to uh, a high street. I'm not going to say who they are because they're not sponsoring us. I went to a high street uh, optician. But, but it's it's some it's like sight quick, fast sight fast sight quick. 
Sight not sight not so quick though. Yeah. Um but uh, I'm gonna have to get glasses. They had uh, the They don't do like two two for one now. No, but it was like um forty nine pound range. Yeah. Sixty five pound range. It was a forty nine pound range like Jarvis Cocker. There was something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh sixty five pound range, ninety nine pound range, one two nine and then fucking whatever, you know. Yeah. So German thought, car designer so, with two for yeah, yeah. Someone said to me once, never go for the cheapest, always go for one of the cheapest. Yeah. I don't know why. It, it, so don't I, know. I, by by chance I went for the one of the cheaper one for the sixty five pound range and yeah. I thought I can do that. I can afford that. I mean, can't you could afford you you could afford the upper so range. I went to the kid the, the one says do you, do you need help? I'll have these, please. My prescription's on file. She went, okay. So with your lenses, £105. I went, what? Yeah, I don't get that. And I thought, this is why just... don't you just put the price just into your lenses? Just put the fucking price on. So here's me thinking, 65 quid, 105 quid. No, I just said, well, you know what? You can stick your lenses. I'll just have them I'll just have the frames. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I've done that. Walked into a wall as I'm going out. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so uh, yeah. so I've got me got me trendy glasses now. Mm. Oh, I found Roger again. Did I tell you? On your sat nav. Mm. He was there all the time, was he? I was there all the time. Yes. No. Now, did you really find him, or yeah. you using the excuse to uh, segue in? No, I did. I found there? him because. I went on voices because we've got this generic voice of like, you know, continue straight ahead. I can't even really do it. But, because uh, we, when we take the sat nav on all day, it's in kilometres, isn't it? Because it's always the Europe or whatever. But Roger doesn't do uh, kilometres. Ah, so right. it, can, it only works on miles, you see. But when we came back, I just changed the... Uh, uh, measurements me- the metric that, wherever the area uh, to miles but kept it on that thing but I didn't know Roger I was there all along so you you paid for him twice didn't you as well no you said you paid for him no 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 him. no I said when I updated the sat nav on Tom Tom's website Tom Tom could sponsor us although they don't do sat navs anymore they don't do them he said try this app I told you this didn't I yeah download this app instead yeah. Did I sell you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is just like, which is what? Um, but I thought they'd removed Roger when I did the update, you see. So I'm a bit gutted because you can't pick voices. Mm-hmm. You can't pick, like, who's it? Brian Blasted are out like that anymore. It's not available because they're like, well, it's more form based. Is he, is he still alive, Brian Blasted? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Um, but yeah, oh, I found him though. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, I thought you left me. But it's like he's with us. I had him on yesterday when I took it down to hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, he, you know the way to hospital, don't you? No, I don't know where to Fairfield. I had oh, right, yes. where it was. Yeah. I thought it was the one that were on way to Rochdale. That's Highfield. I know the Samson one. But I've never been to Fairfield before. Well, if you go so to the Highfield, then carry on and turn left. You go to Fairfield, don't you? I didn't know that. I didn't have a clue where it was. So it was a surprise when so it you go very well. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Go straight ahead. I remember. Keep to the speed limit. And stuff like that. I came out with. I thought, oh, it's like having my old friend back. Because he's there with us. You know, even though he's not around anymore. It's like every journey, Roger's with us. So if we I was. We worked out, Roger. Whip there. Do it. Go out, whip. Yeah. Oh. Coming to Whitby, eh? It's all right for some yeah. multiple holidays. You know, I think I have said this before, but when you park up at a docks or out like that, he says, "Put your handbrake on." And remember, your car can't drive on the water. Yeah. Um, I think mm. I don't like a lot of people in the celebrity world. I don't think you don't like a lot of people in the celebrity world. I don't think so. I don't dislike them, but I don't like them like you like them. But I think I probably um. have. If, if I could have a choose a voice from his sat I think it'd be like Stallone. Are you doing this deliberately? Like? No, 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 no. Uh, go stay with him, yeah. uh. No, or, 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 um, or Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I need to get in this mindset. I'm well, not doing it so you can get otherwise. Right, I'd, I'd, like, I'd, have, I'd have Alan Partridge. Oh, who else would he have? Oh, oh. turn left for the owl sanctuary. I'd, I'd have Darth Vader. Who else would he have? <laughs> no. <laughs> Join the motorway. Engage Warp Factor. No, it's not Warp Factor, is it? Engage Hyperspace. Star Wars. <laughs> no, I'd have to. No, no, I'd have to do me. I'd have to do me a carry Sulu. Work ten, Mister Miss, whatever he is. Hold on a minute, I forgot. I've lost the plot now. <laughs> I've, got, I've got. I've crossed. He'd be saying I've, Sulu, would it? Yeah, no, Sulu would go. Uh, uh, it's a. Uh, Full, no, I can't say, my boyfriend. Full impulse speed. No, it's still a bit Darth Vader, isn't it? You did him bang, bang on a minute ago. I know. <laughs> Warp 10. Warp 10. Yeah. Captain Cook. That would yeah, we'll just, we'll just, It'll sound all right. We'll demolish it. It won't sound, sound terrible. Yeah, after, after auto tune you. Yeah. Sure. You could do it, yeah. You could do sure. Yeah. I want to, uh, I want to put a new, um, Featuring. Oh, why? Why do you say when I do stuff? Because it, yeah, you, it's, it's a really work for me normally, isn't it? Why is that? It's why that all work for you? Go on. Well, because let's. All right, then. let's just do this, right? Do it. Have you got the joke feature? of the day? No, I right, exactly. Got fucking hell, it's raining. Yeah, yeah whatever, we're in whatever, the studio whatever, whatever, and I've forgot the book. Yeah, same as last time. Mm. Have you got a moral dilemma? Moral barometer. Moral barometer. No, you haven't. Have you got devil's advocate? So when I say, you've got nothing, you've got nothing. So when I say to you, I want to bring a new feature in, right? And you go, more worth for me, more worth for you. (laughs) You fair call. I'm here, yeah. Oh, yes. Hey, a fucking boring podcast without me, wasn't it? Without doing impressions. So Uh, what have you been up to this week, Matt, that people might want to know? Nothing, really. Yeah, well, that could be the funny thing. That could be what people tune into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because every week there's nothing. Yeah. Last, last, the last two episodes, what have we been up to? Uh, nothing I crazy. Really. I could tell you all about Crete if you want. Yeah, we've seen the 200,000 photographs. Oh, okay. Accidentally, some did go on the You Don't Know Me. You Don't Even Like Me Anyway, Do You? I forgot the name podcast then. You Don't Even Like Me Anyway, Do You? Instagram page, so I remove them. Hey, some, one of our fans ha- was wearing his uh, You Don't Like Me Anymore t-shirt. It went, where? You, do I like, you Don't Like Me Do You t-shirt. Yeah. You forgot the name of the podcast as well, is not it? It's 14% wine. And you don't even like me, do you? It's 14, I think it's 100% wine. It's 14% proof. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not proof. It is, it is 14% proof. proof. Not, not proof. proof oh, all proof. right. Okay. You don't even like oh, me. Somebody put more impressions, because we did, you, you could review... Season one. Is that you? No, it worked. You? No, it worked me. No, I put a poll on. Yeah, no, I didn't put that on. I put the poll on. Yeah, I didn't put the. They didn't the, say more impressions. They did. They said. They did. They, they said more impressions. They, didn't, they, they did. They didn't. They didn't. The poll said more jokes. No, it said more impressions. No, it, it said more impressions. You know what I did though. Well. I, 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 there's a poll right. You can have like so many questions. Yeah. And I put question one. Yeah. More impressions. Yeah. Question two. Less impressions. Yeah. Question three, more jokes. Yeah. Question four, less jokes. Yeah. And I thought, no, I'll take less off because... No, they put more impressions. Yes, but I I took less off. So the people, all the people who wanted less impressions can't choose it because I took it off. No, they put more impressions. That's what they want. Uh, I'll check that. Well, the poll ends in a few days. So Does it? I'll, I'll well, I've only got one person who's actually I'll collate the results. I'll collate the results. It's just one result. No, I can see more than you. Oh. I'm, I'm admin. Oh, I'll collate yeah. the results. Oh. But yeah. Yeah. But uh, I think mm. you think you're wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I it's a more impressions. I think you're wrong. Um, more impressions? They weren't. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, Mr. Uh, I don't put anything to this podcast. I don't. I want, I, I want to put a new uh, feature in. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's simple. Right. It's simple. I want to call it uh, Pet Peeve. Yeah, pet peeve because you know I know I don't want to be turned to a grumpy old man it, but, podcast, but I think I every, think you already have it's every, a bit late for that every week, you know, and I'm the nice person, but every week I see something that peeves me, yeah. and I saw something the other day, and it peeved me. It wasn't even that major. Mm. Hey, just on a side note, yeah, you know what I've had this week. Uh, no, I've had four raisins. Well. 
I will tell you that when we were in rock, 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 Creed. Rock, rock, Creed. Rock, in Creed, in Creed, in Creed, yeah, yeah. There were only cure that we, that we got, mm. and I bought a bottle of it, and it's rock, 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 rock it. Rack it, rack it. Right, okay. And it had cinnamon in it, and it tasted like hot cross bun. Cinnamon and, yeah, right, okay, yeah. Yeah, and it, it was honey liqueur with cinnamon, and it did taste like hot cross bun. Yeah. And I said to him, I said, should I give Jay a bottle of that? And she says, I like that. And we ended up having it. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I thought, because I thought, because I thought, I thought, we could. It was like a liquid hot cross bun, and I thought it could. It, it could die. You know, you know what I'm like. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, it could draw you in. Mm. And you might think, you know what? But we had it. But she bought a bag of raisins and cranberries as like snacks, mm. and um, and did she eat all the cranberries and left all the raisins? No, and she she was eating them. And said, "You want one?" I went, "No, don't be stupid." And I went, Rude. "Actually, I'll go on. I'll have one." Because yeah. you had like uh, golden raisins as well, like yellow coloured. Yeah. So I went and I thought, I can Don't make that. out you're a raisin, of, raisin of fish yard. And, then, an so, and then she uh, said, hit? Do you want another one? So she gave me another one. Mm. And he went, oh, No, no, two's enough. One raisin. And then the following day, <sighs> Baby I, had, steps. I had two more. I'm going to build to four. And I might build up to a Charlie kick at some point. Mm. You'd be all right with You love a bit of stodge, don't you? So you'd be all right with Charlie kick. Why do you like stodge? What, what, what we're getting at? Stodgy. Yeah. You're a nasty but, piece of work. What, what, what are you talking about, Stodge? But, no, you're, don't turn you're back partial out, to don't. a biscuit and that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. a biscuit. Everyone yeah, likes a biscuit. Just, it's anyway, just Stodge with raisins. I was, I was in Tesco the other day. Yeah. And the couple in front of me, right? Mm. It's not a major thing, this. Yeah. But the couple in front of me, they bought a, a bag of grated cheese. Yeah. Were they eating it when they were going round? No, I, I can't stand that. I hate that. I hate that. And, and uh, because I think sometimes people don't put the empty packet on. And it's that. Don't yeah. you know, who, who wants to? Like, it's like I've worked at supermarkets. I work, used to work for Sainsbury's. Mm-hmm. And it's like when somebody gives you like an empty packet that's had like a sandwich in you. Scan think, that. Oh, scan that. And you think it was all shit all over it. No, oh, I must you, admit, you know, that, is, that is a peeve of mine. People go around eating, eating. stuff. Because, like I said, you know for a fact that if that like, bag of crisps they finish it, that yeah. empty packet's going in the, on the shelf. Yeah, it ain't going scanned. Yeah, they're not shoplifted. But they walk around like it's like to wait till you finish. Can you not? Are you that hungry that you can't even wait till you fucking paid? Yeah. I mean, the worst thing is now in the Tesco near me they've got a Greg's, so they buy a pasta and walk around Tesco eating the pasta. I hate that. I hate people. I work in a shop, <laughs> and I hate it when people come in my shop eating. And they want to look at stuff, and they've got like greasy hands and stuff. It's disgusting. Scruffy gets. Yeah. Scruffy gets. It's like you're either eating or you're shopping. You're not eating and shopping. It's Shooting. like. Eating. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't. I'm rude. I don't like uh, people on phone either when they're paying for stuff. I always make sure that if I'm in like Sainsbury's right like that, if I'm on the phone, I say, just give me a minute. And if I'm talking to somebody, and I put my phone in my pocket and I pay and talk to the cashier and then I continue the phone call after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I hate that otherwise. Yeah. I don't I don't like that, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't like um I don't like people eating going out this good, but uh, I was gonna say then, um Greg's pasty when we think about something there. Yeah, they do it in clothes shops. They walk it, down they walk around and the I greasy, greasy stuff. Yeah. I've seen that. Because I do remember when I bought that, I bought some of merch and them, didn't I? It had a, a Greg's pasty packet in it and pocket. <laughs> Dirty bastards. I know oh, it was from Top Man, it was years ago. But it had like, yeah, my favorite merch, them, it was years ago. But uh, it had like Greg's pasty packet stuck in pocket. Yeah. Dirty bastards. Scruffy gets, scruffy gets. Yeah. But yeah, some, this, these people bought some grated cheese, mm. uh, bad grated cheese, and I thought to myself, is that lazy, that? Is that uh, lazy, that? Well, yeah, and I... Mm, because it, you pay it, more for it, don't you? You do pay more for it, but have you ever tried cleaning a cheese grate? All the time. Oh, I don't like doing that. Why? It's everywhere, isn't it? Because you have to do it outside and inside, and you, st- you think, oh, I've got rid of it. Oh, there's another bit of fucking cheese on it. 
No. 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 Oh, yeah, but what happens if you use that fine grating thing? You can't use the fine grating one because if you try and clean that with a sponge, you're going to shred the sponge. No, you clean it the other way. You don't against the grain. Oh, right. Well, well, I always do it that the way. The three sides of the grater use, but the fourth side never The use. slicey one. Never used that. Well, but the thing's going down like that. Yeah, no, never I, I've that. never used it, but I plan never to. Used that. But I've never used it. No. But the other side, never used that. What side? <sighs> what, the, the fine one? The rough one. Yeah, that's the one that I've cleaned with the sponge and then wrecked the sponge. Yeah, you never use that. Well, it's that's the one I'm talking about. What's that? Well, that's the one I'm talking about. Not the fine one. You've got the grater, the fine grater, the lines and the rough one. The... Yeah, the the one that's like it makes it look like sawdust. No, no, it's a fine, a fine grate. It's fine. What's the, which one are you talking about? It's like you can't clean it. The only you can clean it is well, by. There's four sides to a cheese grater. The only, the it only, must be the one I never use. The only thing you can clean with is another one. Another cheese grater. Yeah, it's like what rub them together. Yeah, you can't. It's like you can't clean it. Mm. You can't clean it. Or, or a jet wash. It's the sort of one where you think if I scuff my hand against that. <sighs> Got casualty, they'll say. Cheese grater, that. Yeah, cheese grater. Have you had an accident with a cheese grater? I've seen yeah. these before. Call his number. Call, yeah. Uh, mm. But yeah, so that, that it, I don't know why. It must be on one, but I saw some. It's, it is. I, I always think that it's prohibitively expensive grated cheese. And you know, I just thought, grate it yourself. I like a slab. I like a. Oh. Yeah, but you like a slab, don't you? But I just thought. Really? Don't don't buy great. You do like a cheese slap. Uh, mm. Just thought you know, great your lazy gets. But maybe that's me. No, I didn't. Mm. I'd buy grated cheese if I if I weren't conscious if I weren't conscious of how more, more expensive it is than normal cheese. I'd buy grated cheese. Mm. But yeah. you can put it on a toast, can't you? And it looks better, doesn't it? It if if, if if you were like doing like an Instagram post of a cheese on toast, you would put grated cheese on, wouldn't you? You won't put, like, a slab of cheese, would you? Yeah, but I don't... If I buy a block of cheese, this is really boring this now, but I mm. probably grate about 20% of it. Mm. You see, I cut cheese very very finely. See-through? Not see-through, but it's very fine. It's like, my mum cuts cheese, and it's, it's like, Doorsteps. about an inch thick, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where I do it, like, like that. it's dead thin, mine. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Boring, isn't it? Boring, isn't it? Cheese yeah. talk. Cheese talk, yeah. Boring. Yeah. Mm. Uh, anyway, cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, we'll keep no, it. We'll keep it. The bit, bit, bit you talk about, we'll keep it. I hate it at the checkout when people are still shopping. That irritates me. What? You know when you get people when they, when they go, oh, I just forgot this. And then, and then you know, like, fucking hell, oh, yeah. You thought you'd finished, but you hadn't. You know, when all stuff's on belt, and then they go and disappear. Well, and you think, I picked the wrong queue here. Think, Fuck's sake, here we go again. Or, I, what happens in Asda quite a lot is, it's like they've never used currency before, and they try and count it out. I were in uh, Smith's as well, recently, the great Smith's, and the Roman carrying out pennies. And it's like, God's sake. It's like, it's, it's not an alien currency, is it? It's like we're not paying in Zorgs. We're, you know, it's, it's just, just fucking... If it's one pound ten, you're just a pound in the ten P. Yeah, but if you've got or, a pocket full of Or if something's though. nineteen pound eighty six, you just give a twenty pound note. You know, don't don't look, uh, look at it and think, but what do them numbers mean? And what have I got here? I must and admit... And it's like, fucking hell, fire. I must admit, though, if you've got, if you've got a lot of chains, like five P, two Ps and one Ps, you're waiting for the opportunity to get I don't have change anymore. But... I never... Do you know what? I don't use cash. But... I, I, that'll surprise you, that won't it? When I, was in, it? when I was in Italy... Will it? No, no. no. When I was oh. in Italy, I had a load of... Uh, Euros. Ten cents, yeah, five cents, Yeah, I got rid of mine in Crete. I left them, I left them on the side for the cleaner. Oh, no, I never leave money for the cleaner. Well, whatever. Uh, what, well, like, randomer? Well, I thought there was about five, five euros there. We always used to tip the cleaners when we went away. And... Literally, within the last like three years, I've stopped it. Why? Because I said I, I just wouldn't do it. Oh, I thought you were going <laughs> to give me a real, real reason. No, because I, I, I found out no, that all they, they get... do, they rifle through your stuff, so I don't tip the cleaners no more. No, they get paid. They get paid. But uh, we had a cleaner through the week, and she folded stuff up, and it was nice. And then on 
I think it was the, right, the Sunday or the Saturday. We had a Saturday the Sunday. And we had this knock at the door early on. It was about half nine, which is very early for a cleaner to come. Normally, they're out. They come when you're out, don't they? So, no, about, about half nine they come. Because you have your breakfast and then you're out, aren't you? So they come by the time. It's a bit early, I think. But anyway, she went, uh, cleaning. And it's like, can you come back in half nine? She's like, tutted. She tutted. And then when she came, she didn't clean as good as the other one. Yeah. But I thought, no, oh, what a pain. No, oh, we have breakfast by eight o'clock, out. There were, there were half a can of links in battery that they could have had, and, you know, I think there were a bottle of orange that were left on the side. Oh, you're so generous. To be honest, so, to be honest we, we, we put a sign in our door, don't clean. Well, we... it said, you know, you put your towels in the shower door if you want them replacing. On the floor. On the floor. And... We didn't have the towels replaced until like the third day. And then I thought, well, I thought I might as well get them replaced. I just want to have to keep bringing your towel out on line up from, you know, and stuff like that. What nice fresh towels. Hate wet towels. No, we just put the thing on the door saying don't clean our room for the four days out of seven because not scruffy. Are you? No, not scruffy. It's fine. A tiny bit on bed. Yeah, I'm quite tired. I must admit, though, it did get a bit warm. So it's like, you oh, know... But you're sweating like a pig, weren't you? He says that, it irritates me. But uh, we had the aircon on, but the aircon, the flat didn't come down. So it just went straight ahead. So it never kind of really hit me. It just cooled the room, but it didn't actually cool me. So there were a couple of nights where I was like a bit warm, but all right, all right. I just slept on top. So, anyways, mm. no jokes. Mm. That's not good, is it? I forgot the book. Uh, my mind. Uh, let's see if I've got a joke for you. Oh, they're all, they're all dirty jokes, these. Oh, I like a dirty joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to hear a dirty joke? Yeah, go on then. It'll be like, it'll be like a play on the words dirty one. Well, yeah, because I'm not... Um, I thought some of these are quite... Bad deeds, so I'll, I'll just go over. Uh, oh. I'll go for a lame one. All right. Okay. Uh, now these are taken off other people's because I've never joked oh, myself. No, just get on with uh, it. They're not jokes of the mind like what yours are. Look, my mind's blank at the moment. Blanco, blanco mindo. Blanco mindo. Right. Okay. I'm only doing one joke. Can I? Mm, no. Sorry, go on. No. Why did the baker have brown hands? Uh, don't know. He needed a poo. Um, <laughs> can I just say, if you've got any uh, any criticism of the quality of the jokes, because I've I've got my book mind uh, thing, uh, and you're disappointed with the quality of the joke in this podcast, please uh, put a comment on. And I'll I'll try and remember the book Mind next uh, week. I've got a, I've got a fact as well for you, but pod fact. Go on. You'll you'll, you'll probably sigh again, but right. you might know. You might be aware of this. I would probably will. Be. Um, but apparently, yeah, right. Ninety three percent of people, uh-huh. quite specific, uh-huh. can distinguish hot water from cold water by the look of by it. the sound of it being poured. Yeah. I can't. Have you ever done that with a kettle before? You think it's boiled, and you pour it in the cup and go, "That sounds funny," it, well, yeah. but it's not boiled. Yeah. So it sounds different. Yeah. But I, I, I was like, I thought that was only me. No, I know that. I no, thought I, I had the skills. No, but apparently, ninety-three percent. If you if you, if you pour mm. what hot water out and cold water out, they can tell you which is which is which. Yeah. I have to try that again. Everyone's mm. everyone's now doing that. They're all doing it. Oh, this is another like boil the kettle. Don't boil the kettle. Oh, I want to listen to this podcast. Or I'll yeah. I'll do it after. No, they won't. Just they've gone. No, they'll just do they've it. Gone. Now. They've gone. They'll just do it now. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I was uh, hey, um, that was that was the fact. But I mm. thought it was not. It's not a it's not a pervy fact. Like you, you like a little cheeky sexy fact, don't you? I do like a cheeky sexy. It's fact. not a cheeky sexy fact. Right. Hey, you know what I saw the other day. What is it? Cheeky sexy. No, it's not cheeky or sexy. It's uh, oh. probably an old old man thing. Oh. I saw a car, right? right. That's not unusual. Uh-huh. But it had a tax disc in the window. Oh, what car were it? Um, 
It was a rock song. Alright. But, and I thought to myself, there'll be a generation of people now who go, what is that? Mm. They fucking won't when they have to tax electric cars. That's coming in. Is it? Mm. You have to put a down on it, don't you? Good. Tax them. What are you really down on it for? Tax the bastards. <laughs> what, 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 what have you got against electric cars? Don't like them. Why? Because they're electric. All right. Okay. Soulless. Yeah. Soulless, like a washing I, machine. I saw, it, I saw a post on a, on Facebook the other day. Uh. And it had a picture and it said underneath, uh, please, please see the above. It's fuel for your electric car. It was a big pile of coal. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, it's been keep it light no because they've said it haven't they? because of it, it's flooding everywhere they're saying uh, avoid salt water with your electric car because it causes them to explode it's flooding everywhere what are you talking about but it's because we've had a lot of rain haven't we that's not salt water well they've they, well, I don't know what they said salt water facts, oh no right? I know where it is it's you know when it's water, no when water comes up over you know like at Blackpool where it comes up over from yeah and stuff. And they've said don't and drive stuff. through it in your electric car because you blow up. Okay. Because you've got is. valuable consumer advice there. Because salt water is a... Is Corrosive. It's not, it's a conductor, isn't it? It's a conductor. It's a cryolite, they call it's it. It's a cryolite. That's where it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it'll blow your electric car up. Yeah. That'd be a disappointment, mm-hmm. won't it? And, and they're telling people not to park inside in Australia uh, because your electric car will set on fire. It's not a lot going for it, really, is there? Well, to be honest, it, there's thousands of electric cars out there, mm-hmm. and if the other one blows up, it's not it's not a thing, is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I know, but I don't have to park. I don't have to like watch about driving through salt water in my car, or I don't have to worry about parking in an underground car park because it's got to blow up, but it's on fire. Mm. Oh. No consumer advice: buy petrol. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Gas. Gas. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like Americans. Yeah. 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 You should be American. Should I? Yeah. Gas gas guzzler. Gas guzzler. Should we really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I'm a gas guzzler. You're a gas guzzling American. That's why you haven't got like cow horns on the front of your car. Well, I carry a passenger seat to them, like. It's rude. Mm. It's rude. Yeah. I had to um, I had to change the password of the day. Password? Mm-hmm. For what? Oh, forgot my PIN number in Creep for my Monzo card. How can you forget your PIN number? I know. I can't even forget the it's on the app. You can, you can find your PIN number on the app. Why don't you make it the same as your other card? No, because I've got different cards and they're all different ones. Well, why don't you make it the same? Cause Cause I, I don't know, actually. No one knows your it, number. No. It's only a random one. Yeah. You'll think if someone guesses one number, they could take all your cards, but... Yeah. They'll have a job guessing your number. Well, no, they have to do really. I can't remember fucking card numbers. But it says it on the app, doesn't it? You, mm-hmm. can, put, you can do it on the app. Yeah. But I had to change the password on something uh, work-related. Yeah. And, uh, and I thought... I put the password in, and it says... No, it's the wrong, wrong password it was. Uh-huh. But, no, it's the right password. Put uh-huh. it again. Wrong password. Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought, mm. is it wrong password? But then again, yeah. wrong password, reset your password. Oh, is it a scam? No, no, no. it wasn't a scam. So I reset the password, and I thought, I was just putting the password that I thought it was. It went, you can't use the same password. And I thought, yeah, I've done that. But it's, I've done it's that. like, it's, if, yeah. if it's the same password, why didn't you accept it in the first place? Yeah, no. Yeah. So mm. I had to put a different number on it. Yeah. But I thought, you know, it's like, let's just say your password was like Matthew 74. It's not. Oh, it's a bloody password. It's not, but yeah. It's Matthew 74. Uh, it's wrong password. Matthew 74, wrong password. Matthew 74, wrong password. Reset your password. Okay, I'll call, it, I'll call it Matthew 74. Can't oh, be the same yeah. password. Okay. It's like, what? Mm. Annoying. You've you never... Too much to remember then. You have a look at adverts and think, I do this a lot, right? I look at an advert and think, if this advert was shown 20 years ago, mm. they would not know what it was talking about. No, like that Pepsi one. 
where he says, people perhaps prefer Pepsi. And I thought, nobody will understand what he was talking about. No, I don't mean that. Oh. I mean, I mean adverts like, um, boost your Wi-Fi with this such thing, module thing. I think. If, in the Are best... you talking about EE with, what's that, whatever he's called? Yeah, but 20 years ago. They Kevin go, Bacon? They go, uh, what, 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 what's, 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 What's yeah. data? What's, what's, what's data? data? What's, what's Wi-Fi boosting? Don't what's that? And 20, it just oh, makes no sense, 20, you know. No. But it's like changing your password yeah. and the problems we have. If you, if you said, oh, 20 years ago, oh, it kept me setting this password, you go, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a change, right? Fair, so there's one time that I first come on and go, that would make no sense 20 years ago. I mean, she just sighs and rolls her eyes at but Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, what a fascinating insight. Well, I'll tell you what, you'll do it now. You'll, you'll see that. You'll see that. There's a TV. You'll think twenty years ago made no sense. Yeah, made no sense. Probably not. Hmm? Mm-hmm. It's like it's, it's like vaping, scent boosters. Them that fucking that advert where he sniffs his foot. That's wrong. <laughs> they still do that. Yeah, they still do that. No, but this is that. Why is he sniffing his foot? Because it's twenty twenty four, and you can do that now. But he, he doesn't even. He's, he's not even interested in the shoe. He's just sniffing that bloke's foot. Eh? It's wrong that advert. And then that other advert. Well, that's for Lenoir Snoop Snoop Busters. Snoop Busters. Snoop 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 Boosters. Uh, when he's in that bed, that bloke and he goes O M G. And you think, what the fuck's he talking about twenty years ago? And I think, I watch that now and I think, what the fuck's he talking about? Who says OMG? Have you not said that? Everyone says OMG. No, they don't. Nobody would go in a bed and, and, and like lift the cover up and go, OMG. Nobody says that. Nobody would go, you know what? I'm having this wine now. OMG. Nobody does that. I say it all the time. I never say I've that. I have a, no. a nice meal. OMG. With dickhead. I come home from a night out with you and I go, OMG. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After a day at work, OMG. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, you're, 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 you're past thinking, though. Right? I'm, I'm man of the moment. You're past thinking. No, I'm not. I just don't like you want, you want everyone to go, re- that will reek that. That will mm. reek good. Text better that fucking Dixon's up, not Dixon's, is it? Curry's that uh, uh, exceeding expectations. What? What's wrong with that? Text expectations. Oh, it's like a oh, not even a word. It's oh, it annoys me that advert. Adverts annoy me. You, you, you're very annoyed. I mean, oh, I, 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 would, I would have a feature called Matt's pet peeve. Adverts. But it would be like a very long podcast. And, and mate, oh, oh, did you get me? Did you get that message that I sent? Oh, you did get that message that I sent you today, didn't I? About Ed Sheeran's got his Mathematics Live album coming out. Was that today? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, God's sake. Is that all right, Ed? No. It's like, oh, it's, it's, everything that's wrong in the music industry is. Ed Sheeran Adele. Sorry. Like a week stuck record. No, no, it's true though. Anyways, mm. I think it's time to wrap episode one of season two up. Is it? With a nice little oh. uh, holiday bow. Wrap us up with a nice bow. Yes. Who's that? From the Owl Sanctuary. Oh, right, yes, it's Darth yes. Vader. I think you'll find it's Ben Kenobi. Oh, I don't know. That was a little bit like Roger Moore. It, it, it was yeah, a bit, it, 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 it is mixed up. Man of a thousand voices, man of one impersonation. Uh, it worked one. Yes. Did it, did it, did it, did it bob on? I know. Before. I know. Try to. Is this, is this 14% wine? You can't it is, that. can't handle, handle it. handle it. No. Well, yeah. So yeah, we're back on season two. Yeah, see, and you, so you thought same. you thought you'd you come thought back. They'll never you, come back with that. Well, you thought they'd come back bigger and better. I was thinking about and a rebrand. Come back, but uh, yeah. 
less rebranding what new title yeah I don't know I just, 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 just. wine time I don't know no what uh, wine time wine, wine time I, no. think, I think you need to workshop I think, I think we to work that, that is that is crap it is crap but uh, yeah uh, but it's nice to be back you yeah. can't change the title because it's good. we've got merch now oh no we've got a t-shirt well well, we can get more, but there's just one T-shirt. Yeah, the so it, it turned up mm. we- uh, wearing that T-shirt. Oh, right. what, why? And underneath, yeah, they wrote cancelled on it. <gasps> cancelled? Yeah. Did he think they were being cancelled? Cancelled culture. Cancelled culture. You, you, thought, you thought your impersonations had uh, ruined the show and cancelled it. No, we didn't at and, all. And, 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 <laughs> and your... Captain Dida, these impersonations make the show. And you <sighs> and you fake and you fake adverts from beyond the grave. Exclusive Disney. Copyright. Copyright. Two thousand twenty-four. <laughs> so, anyways, yes, yeah. I thought we'd come back with a bang, and we came back with a whimper again. Like we left, we left with a whimper, 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 whimper. Wh- wh- yeah, Oprah whimper. But uh, we, we've come back, we've gone with a whimper, we've come back with a whimper. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we're, yeah. Yep. So, so, cheers to, uh, cheers cheers to, to a, episode one, season two. Season two. Yeah, it can only get better than this. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. Bye. <laughs> Press the kill switch. Oh, I can't do it. Press the kill switch. Captain Nida. Gone. Yeah, it's gone now. 14%. Primitivo Silento.